All right, so I grew up in Minneapolis area, which means I grew up on the music of Prince. I was a big fan of Prince, even though I wasn't supposed to be, because his music was a little R-rated. But still, I found a way to get my hands on Prince records, and when my parents weren't home, I'd take the, the contraband out from <laughs> underneath my mattress, you know, and put that glorious vinyl on the record player and drop the needle on some raspberry beret and little red Corvette and let's go crazy and purple rain and mm, I love me some Prince, y'all. And, uh, you know, that music got in there and, and um, I really owe a lot to him personally, you know. I mean, he taught me all about the birds and the bees long before my parents did, you know, so. Who knows how long I would have been in the dark about that stuff, so. Thanks, Prince. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Don't go looking for meaning in that. Some of you in this room, you're looking for meaning. I know, because you've talked to me after shows before, so. Is this coming through now? You hearing it now? I think it was right here. Actually. Anyway, there's a, a song of Prince's that I've always heard as a prayer, and uh, so I always like to open up my song with the chorus of his old Prince song, so we're going to start there.
again just like that now, yeah. I will rise, I will rise. I will rise, I will rise. I will rise, I will rise. Oh, sing it like you need it. I will rise, I will rise. Ooh. I will rise, I will rise. I will rise, I will You are no stranger to the storms of life. Everybody in this room has been touched by the storm. No matter what your age, being born is a storm of life. It starts early. But maybe you've been through enough of the storms of life that you're beginning to recognize a pattern. And that is that the person you are before the storm is not the same person who comes out the other side. Especially as you encounter the resurrected and resurrecting Savior who so often meets us right there in the middle of the storm, right? The one who says, unless a kernel of wheat falls into the ground and dies, how will it become what it's supposed to be next? And maybe you've done some of that falling to the ground and some of that dying. Some of that getting knocked down so far. You weren't sure you could get back up or even if you wanted to. Me too. But here you are. You made it. At least this far. We're so glad you made it. And having been put back up on your feet after getting knocked down, being raised back up again and again, maybe you are beginning to have some confidence in resurrection power. And uh, once you begin to be able to trust that, well, the storms, the deaths, don't terrify you as much anymore. They're still unpleasant, but they don't grip you with terror like they used to. Because you begin to recognize that the storms of life, the troubles, that these are so often what the Lord uses to make you stronger than the storms of life. And you are becoming formidable. You can feel it, right? You feel it? You are becoming formidable. So, that maybe on a good day you're able to look off in the distance and see the next storm clouds gathering in the distance about to head your way. And maybe, just maybe on a good day, you're able to look at, look at those storm clouds and say, you know what? Bring it because I like what it made of me last time. And you can say that because you can sing this. Here we go. I will rise, I will rise. I will rise, I will rise, I will rise, I will rise, say it again like that now. You say 